So we're back in the car again. So hello everybody and welcome. Hopefully over there is Jurassic World Alive in its tiny frame because let's be honest, the iPhone version is a lot smaller. Um, I am here uh, because there is the, the incubators, there's like a legendary incubator and a rare incubator or strike team, strike event, whatever you want to call it, whatever, whatever Lydia is deciding to call it, uh, like right here. And I, I found the perfect spot and I'm also dog sitting for that little bugger over there. Anyway, oh God, no, please don't tell me you're gonna, Windows hasn't been able to, good God, I came here not too long ago. Hold on, we'll, we'll, we'll jump straight in and see what we face up against because we're gonna win loads of incubators. Um, yeah, ooh, ooh, yes, of course, an easy team, fantastic. Also, I need to level up my team as well. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say some. I can't remember what it was now. Yes, so what's happened at the moment in Jurassic World Alive is that there is a tournament going on. They're calling it a tournament. It's not really a tournament. Um, but it, it's raised a couple of issues for me, personally, and probably a lot of you. Um, now, what's happening is they've basically taken the regular PvP fights and they've turned all the rankings into, um, like, tournament status. So you win prizes depending on where you finish in like 17 days or something. Now, this is great. I think that's a good idea. The only problem with this is that you are up against real people. This is not Jurassic World the game. No, these are real people. So, um, you you know as well as I do that they tried to take out... Um, oh God, I might as well pounce that. I'm not going to... Um, it's only level 10, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you may know that they tried to take out cheetahs. And they took out a fair few. Um, to their credit, um, but the only problem was that even more cheetahs are now in the top rank. Um, and I don't know how Ludia are going to go about this, because pretty much the way the tournament is, if you finish first, you win a million coin. A million coin, like 20,000 bucks or something, and a premium incubator. Um, so really good prizes. But like I've said, the people who are finishing top are the ones that are, uh, are cheating. Sorry, I, I keep looking over because I'm like, is everything going okay? Yeah, it is. We're out. We're outside. If we, if we go here for an instant and we look at the leaderboard, there's a great guy. Number two is Legit AF. Perfect, perfect name. Uh, so if we click on their profile, 27 Indoraptor. 26 Anchor Trichosaurus. 27, 28, just... Why is there a poster sucrus there? I have no idea. It's level 29 and level 30 Stegodus and an early Dominus. And number one is just as bad with a level 30 friggin' Tani Calagrus. I don't even want to know how much that costs. How much coin? That's probably like a million coin to get level 30. Uh, uh, so I don't know what they're going to do. Like, uh, uh, we've still got how many days? Because if you go here, it does tell you how many days that we've got left. 14 days. 14 days, two hours. So. I, I really don't know what they're gonna do. Oh, oh, there you go, there you go, it's okay, oh, fantastic. Um, oh, yeah, you know what, it's, it's, pre it's pretty easy. Like, Velociraptor can pretty much finish all these off. If it gets hairy with the other one, because I need to move forward a little bit to get the, uh, the epic uh, incubator. But I think Raptor's pretty much got this. You know what, let's go, let's go into Raptor. Let's do it, let's put Indoraptor Raptor in. We finally worked our butts off for it. And we might as well use it. So, what's he got? I mean, he, there's nothing. He's probably going to go for ferocious attack or whatever it is. But look at that, 1,600. Oh, no, he went for a defense shattering strike. Oh, it did nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we pretty much killed this guy and whatever comes in next because Indoraptor's uh, shield crushing attack or whatever it is does over 2,000 damage. I'm pretty sure Gorgosuchus at level 9 or level 10 Oh, it's irritated Gen 2. Oh, I don't know about that. <gasps> is it going to survive? Oh, it survives with 43. My God. So, yeah, I'm pretty tired because I've been looking after uh, Basil while my parents are away on holiday. And he only settles at my parents' house. And, like, oh, it was great. Like, <laughs> the f oh, no, why did I do that? I should, oh. Uh, it doesn't make a difference because next turn we're going to have the, shat like the shattering. Sorry, I'm looking down here, even though it's, like, right there or something. Um, yeah, like, I... Such an ass! First night, I, I'm, I hear him barking, I, so I come downstairs, and he had a great big crab in the conservatory <laughs> and peed everywhere. I was like, oh no, please, Basil, no. He hates me. Not only does he show it, but he also 
it shows it in other ways. Look, look at him there. Look there, you can't even see him. And he's deaf as well, so I could yell at him. Basil! There's nothing. <laughs> so there we go. We want an incubator. So yeah, I got here. That's what I was gonna say. I drove here and I was like, okay, everything's set up. I got the laptop, got the got got this, got you, and we're all ready. And then like the battery was low and I was like, are you freaking serious? <laughs> I got Basel and everything. Uh, so what do we get? Uh, oh, Irritated Gen 2 and a Capra Suture. So we didn't really win too much from that. May as well spin that to win some coin. I think getting like, because they've upped how much stuff you get on the um, on the stops, we'll just call it drops, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's pretty easy to max out your coins every day. Before this, it was quite hard. I only maxed out my coin once, and it was on a trip to Edinburgh, and I, like Whitney was driving, and I was just I was just on the phone the whole the whole trip, and I I like I don't even know how I, how I managed it on the A1 or whatever, um, but I managed to like max out as many or get as many stops as I could for the uh, coin. Ooh, there you go. That's what you want. A ferocious impact does way more than the other one. Don't know why I didn't do that before, but Interrupted, Interrupted is really good. I kind of want a team that is all like evasive, so the cloaking, so I want Indoraptor, Indominus Rex, um, uh, Ind Indolicosaurus, that one with the Cerizinosaurus and Indominus, and I also want the Gallimimus and Monolophosaurus one as well. Speaking of that, I've, I've still got two Monolophosauruses to get, and I've only got like an hour and a half to do that. So once I've done this, I'm going to quickly like drive to somewhere where I know there's going to be Monolophosauruses and quickly max them out. So, I mean, does it really matter what he goes for? Most of the Baryonyx, um, oh, we killed him anyway. Oh, beautiful. Most of Baryonyx just go for like, ready to crush, and then they die the next turn. <laughs> so there we go, <gasps> getting closer. Uh, saying that, I've only got like an hour and a half to do these, because they're all gonna vanish. But I thought, oh, oh, let's go. We've somehow teleported to this one. Oh, oh, that's way easy. Um, yeah, I mean, was it raining? <gasps> it's raining. In the car again. <laughs> the storm will get a T-Rex break out in front of us. Um, so yeah, we're just playing Dominus Rex. I mean, in Indoraptor, I should say. Um, there's a, like it's kind of funny because when I was at Insomnia, I asked a lot of people because you know um, I was there. Uh, no, I asked a lot of people. I don't know where I was going with that, didn't make any sense. I asked a lot of people what they thought of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, or vice versa, they asked me what I thought of it. I'm always like sketchy, of, like, because. I feel like some people, if they don't like it, they really don't like it. Um, I I thought it was all right. Like, I, I, I've done a review on it, so if you want to go watch that, you can, you can find it on the channel. Um, but I, you know what? I didn't watch it again. And also, for some odd reason, now I'm not too sure why this is, but uh, just recently, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom has got the lowest rating of any Jurassic Park World sequel or any movie ever on Rotten Tomatoes. The lowest rating. Don't know why. I, I don't think it was that bad. Like, I, w I would rate it higher than... Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know. <laughs> I know, like, it's not the worst movie. Like, I mean, really, for going off... Oh, that, there we go. It's it's switching us backwards and forwards. Let's win this incubator. Uh, should we have Indominus Rex? Put Indominus Rex, Velociraptor. Uh, yeah, because I... That's the thing, I, I see all these people. Now, the thing is, this is another thing. I, I saw I saw this the other day, uh, a, a YouTuber, um, and you, you guys who watch this series might have seen uh, their video, but they were basically calling out another YouTuber for hacking and clickbaiting. Click, clickbaiting, whatever. I, like, this thing, when it first started Jurassic World, the game, I was really opposed to anybody who cheated and hacked because I thought I was facing up against them in, like tournaments and things like that so I was like well this isn't good this is like come on like I know sort of calling people out who did cheat or hack or gen and whatever you want to call it um, and now I'm not too bothered it's like if you want to cheat you can cheat as long as you as long as, like if you admit that you're cheating fair enough like at least at least you're admitting to it um, but with Jurassic World Alive, this game right here. I might have said evolution, sorry if I did say evolution. But Jurassic World Alive, now we face up against real people. So, if you do cheat, you're robbing everybody else who's hard working out of their prizes because you just cheated and like got loads of bucks in. Now, 
I think Ludia are having a harder time um, getting rid of the hackers or cheaters. I should just call them cheaters because they're not hackers. They just download an app and go, give me resources. It's giving them way too much credit. Um, like, I feel like Ludia are having a problem with it because what's to stop somebody from hacking or sorry, cheating once they've been banned? They just make another Facebook account and join again and cheat again. I mean, there's really no point. At that point, you're like, well, I'm just gonna ban again. But that to me says that Ludia don't know how to check if you've cheated. So they don't know how to say, like they can't go into, like, I mean, can you imagine if they had to go into every account and check the data? Um, that would be ridiculous. And I don't think they have the time or the effort to do so, <laughs> I've got to be honest. Oh, there's, oh what did we get? Oh, Barrow's level 18, I swear to God. Epics are really hard to come by and for some odd reason everybody else doesn't seem to have a problem I'm like, it's like they bump into 10 epics a day. I barely bump into one um, But I mean, I'm, I don't play this every day I don't play this as like often as I could play it. So uh, if I see people with a higher team I'm just like, oh, they probably just played a lot. Um, but it's it you see like and this this is what I'm getting to this is it uh, Do you like my haircut? I had to get rid of the quiff. I know I apologize. It was too much even with waxing It was just like falling down. Oh god. Look at that pillow <laughs> um, Even with waxing it was just sort of like flopping it was horrendous anyway. Yes, we'll get to it um, So there's a, there are youtubers out there who hack Damn it, I cheat. Ah, <laughs> they cheat. And like I said, fair enough. But now, this is the question I pose to Ludia because it's very obvious that certain YouTubers cheat. Um, and they're YouTubers that just do it, but they just make content because they're, they click bait for a start. They, um, and they also, uh, they're just doing it for money. That's it. They don't, I mean, they, they might care about it, but it's pretty obvious that their practice is. I'm just gonna get the max creature. I'm gonna put it in the thumbnail. I'm gonna click bait that as much as I can out of it and just make as much ad revenue from it. That, that, that's one way to do YouTube. It's not how I like to do YouTube because I think you guys would call me out pretty quick if I'm not self aware about it uh, and I know what I'm doing. And this, you know, this is my job, so I have to, you know, I have to make money. Uh, but it's not what it's not what commands me. It's not the the driving force behind my channel. Um, so, what does Lydia do if a YouTuber who is promoting the game in a way hacks, cheats, ah, and, and is robbing real players of prizes? What do they do about that account? Because they can very clearly see what their account name is. And, I mean, if they watch long enough, I'm sure, like, the account support ID will come up as well. So, what, do they, what does Lydia do then? Like, if, if I all of a sudden, and not that I have, and I'm not alluding to that at all, but if I all of a sudden went, sod this, I can't be bothered, everyone's cheating, and I decide to just, you know, g give myself 10,000 bucks. You know, nothing too big, I don't break the game, but I just give myself 10,000 bucks. And now, and also this is another thing, what if I don't say it? What if I don't say I do it? And I just pretend like I'm playing legit. But, but if Ludi can detect that, and I haven't made it obvious, will they delete my entire account? And, not only that, would if I do say, okay guys, I'm gonna cheat now, here's loads of bucks, let's just open all the incubators and get the best dinosaurs. Um, why did I go for evasive? I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> it still got me either way. Um, oh, and I got the, the crit I really didn't need, but look at that, that damage though. Oh. Uh, so yeah, these YouTubers that are out there that are cheating, is Ludia gonna do anything about them? Now, if they did, they they risk making a very bad PR move. That's public relations. And, and like having YouTubers speak out and be like, Don, you Ludia, you, you broke my account. And then other people were like, yeah, he, he promotes your game, it's free. Oh God, don't even get me started on comments like that. <laughs> uh, but still, it's like, I would understand if they did that. At the same time, uh, I don't know, it's... If the, the only thing is, I, I've said, I've mentioned this in videos before, I've said, Ludia, if you want to, if you want to sort of bypass that and play, just play like, don't offend anybody, what you need to do is put all the hackers, cheaters, oh, into a separate leaderboard. 
that's it. And they can hack and cheat their way to, you know, level 50, 100,000 Indominus Rex or God knows whatever it is. Did we do it? Of course we did. I didn't even need to look these. I'm just like, yeah, that one, that one. So this is the rare. Now, if I could have rares out of this incubator, um, hmm, what kind of rares would I like? Something like the Ornithomimus would be pretty cool. Um, I would love Gallimimus because I'm going for that hybrid. But really, um, I've got a lot of rares. I don't really need anything in particular. As long as it's not like a raptor squad, I'd be happy. <laughs> so Irritated Gen 2. None of the suits, just don't really need that. Barrax Gen 2. I don't need that either. And the next one is, the, oh, the epic is 13 Baryonyx. You know, not too bad. Uh, because I've only got 40 minutes and we're on a little Barry. Uh, I, w I will just quickly rack through these. I'm so sorry, guys. I should have came prepared. I had a night to sleep on it, but I was like, I was looking after Basil and I completely forgot. It's my bad. I apologize. Um, so this was a eight-hour incubator. Oh, 500 uh, Velociraptor. Re Thank God. Okay, what we get? 15 Power Out. I actually do need that for the hybrid. And 15 Stiggy Molar. You get loads of Stiggy Molar these days. So, and this is another super. I told you, I'm spoiling you. So many incubators. So, this one is 12 hour incubator. Uh, so, more coin. Um, Eupocyphus, which I do need for a hybrid. Tiny Calagrius, which I don't really need too much. I don't even try I don't need. And the final one is 451 Spinosaur. I'll take that. So, if we go back onto the map, now we need to go over there. So, um,. Oh god, there's no way I'm moving, is there? Without that falling. Do you think? Do you think? Can I move? Hold on, guys. Move a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah! Your boy knows how to do it! There we go! It didn't stop recording or anything. Okay. <laughs> so let's quickly try to rack through this before I have to end up deleting stuff on there. So, um, we'll get... I mean, I mean that seems pretty good. Hello, Baz! How you doing? <gasps> What's this? Say hello to oh, you all your adoring... Okay, fans. Nope, nope. That, that's Baz in a nutshell. You guys love him. You'd hate him if you met him. <laughs> He's a horrible dog. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, yes, let's go. Uh, so, I, I mean, I am enjoying Jurassic World. Like, they update it all the time. It's a really good game. And Basil has farted. Oh, my God, Baz, really? <laughs> oh, God. I just thought, you know, he's like, he's like, a, he's old now. He's like 14 years old, and I didn't want to leave him in the, on the house, like in the house by himself. These, and especially when he's deaf, he's, you know, it's horrible. As much as he hates me, and I have a mutual hate for him, <laughs> I do, I do love him, and he has like this weird sort of respect for me. I don't, I don't know. It's like hate, but. If, if it's just me me and him, he won't bark at me or growl at me or anything. But if somebody else is there, he's like, ooh. <laughs> so let's, oh, wow, we took like one hit. Indoraptor, man. It's doing amazing. Do you have an Indoraptor? The thing is, once you get Indoraptor, you need 100 DNA to get it up to the next level. So what we'll do here as well, actually, as 200 coin, is I'll level up this dinosaur here, the Stegodus, because I don't think I'm going to use... Um, not Nundasuchus, Stegosaurus and Nundus, Nundasaurus, I think it is. So 30,000 to level 19, there you have it. It's a, it's a good upgrade, it's really good. Um, and, oh no, that's it, that's the one. Um, and I'm, I'm wanting to upgrade this thing as well, because it's Eupocephalus and Parasaurolophus, I think it is. So for 15,000 coin, for it to be my team, and to get some pretty decent stats, and it's only 150 to get up, and I have plenty of that. I have as many dinosaurs as I need to level up those guys. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted. So in in the leaderboards, yeah, I'm only 3,700, and the, basically, to be in with a chance, you need to be in a, oh God, no, get rid of him. Uh, you, to be in with a chance to win an epic incubator at least, and maybe some coin and bucks, for the tournament, that ends in 12 days or 14 days, whatever it was, you need to be, having 4,000 cups, basically. That's what you need, 4,000 cups. And I mean, I, I'll probably do like a push for it closer to the time in like 10 days time. Um, but especially with all the hackers there, cheaters, ah! I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I just hope in maybe a couple of days time, um, hopefully Ludia, if you're watching, you watch this video. I mean, surely you're aware. You've got to be aware that this is happening and cheaters are still a big problem in your game that there's, there's people who you know actually work hard 
Uh, well, you know, just are addicted to playing your games. Want to have, you know, get good prizes. I, I, like I said, all you need to do is don't delete them. Don't delete the cheaters. Just, like, not notify them. Um, oh, well, anyway, here we've got an incubator here. So let's see what we get in this one. Little great. Oh, God. Oh, it's not going to be good prizes at all. 96, 12, and oh, we got epic. We got 10 epic in that one. I don't even think that was guaranteed. Okay, let's do another battle. Bring in uh, Indoor. This is going to be all Indoraptor. That's all this is going to be. The thumbnail is going to be like 20 incubators and then Indoraptor's face on it. <laughs> I can already see it. Um, yeah, all I need to do is just recognize who's cheating and then quietly just put them in a battle arena with other people who are, you know, cheating the game. So that way, I mean, what's the difference to them? The only difference is that you don't, they don't fight legit players. All they're doing is fighting other cheaters, which is great because they're so high at the top that they're only facing off against cheaters anyway. So it wouldn't make a difference. And if they win certain, like that's the thing. I don't understand. Like if you're going to cheat, why then, if you can get all the dinosaurs you want, why then do the tournament? Why even bother? Because you're winning prizes that you can just tack in yourself, you know, to gen like generate yourself. So it is like that's that's what broke Pokemon for me the first time. Sorry, I'm, I'm going off a of beaver rant. Beaver car rants, how you doing? Having a good day? No? Well, it's Jurassic World they're alive over there. Watch the dinosaurs kill each other. <laughs> um, like when I could generate any Pokemon I wanted, it completely ruined Pokemon for me. I was like, wait, I can have anything? Oh. Well, there's no point now and I'd spent at, like it was Pokemon X and Y or yeah it was X and Y at the time or Sun and Moon I think it might have been Sun and Moon um it was a bit of a shame because I, I really enjoyed it but I'd sp I spoiled it for myself um I just like I don't understand how somebody who really likes this game could then just break it for themselves like that and then still enjoy oh no 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 cancel Cancel, thank God. Okay, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> almost. Uh, so let's go in. One more win, and we win another incubator. And that is also going to run out of battery. Well, not out of battery, out of SD space. So I'm going to have to delete some stuff. <sighs> yeah, it wouldn't be me without having some sort of major screw up, would it? <laughs> hey, look, it's Indoraptor again. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I'm enjoying the game. Um, I, I like it's strange because it's not like not that I'm fussed at all, but it doesn't seem as popular as um, Jurassic World the game. And we're on episode 368 or 9 of Jurassic World the game, and still episodes of that beat out Jurassic World Alive. That is amazing to me, and I, I feel like maybe this has a bigger or a more active fan base, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> also, again, sorry, I apologize for the uh, the microphone that is picking up because I'm using that camera and the microphone and it's not the best. And it's also like picking up from the top, just like right above above there. So it's, oh, oh, don't you give my Indoraptor run for its money. I don't have to even try. Slash. There we go. We need, we need to just like crop out one Indoraptor and then just like in the thumbnail, copy and paste it a million times and have it look like like 20 Indoraptors are facing off against something. That's how you clickbait. <laughs> and when, it, when it's not in the game, when you can't actually do that. Because I did that with Indominus Rex and the T-Rexes for Jurassic World, the game. And you were facing off against 100 T-Rexes, so it did kind of make sense. Um, so, oh man, just give me Irritator. Like, just regular, rare Irritator. That's all I want. I don't want... I don't want Irritator Gen 2. I don't want Baryonyx Gen 2. I want just Irritator. That's all I need. I need because I've got plenty. Oh, also, I've got loads of Dilophosaurus now. So we can make the new Dilophosaurus hybrid because I've, I mean, back in the day, the only epic when it first, this game first launched, there seemed to be like dinosaurs that were just locked into certain places. Um, and I knew if I went over there, I'd find loads of Lothornax or whatever. So um, like near me or my area, the only epic I would find, or very rare, I mean, there were two epics I'd find. It was either Stego Stegoceratops, which kind of sucks now, I look back at it, because you can make Stegoceratops quite easy, and Oranosaurus. And for the longest time, Oranosaurus just didn't have any hybrids. So, and it wasn't that great either. It wasn't too quick, it, it wasn't a big hitter. The only good thing it could do was uh, impact and run. 
which is fairly decent. Uh, oh, did we, oh, we got a crit on the Irritator. Um, that's really good, actually. And you also might be able to hear Basil snoring. Don't know how well that picked up, but there you go. <laughs> oh, the Adrenaline Pulse. And also, if you don't know what you're going to be facing in the Strike events, it does say, oh, the double crit? Now, why can't I get that when I'm doing the friggin' actual PvPs? That would be great. So, one more win and we got this next incubator. Can we do it in three and a half minutes before that runs out of battery? We get loads of coin. <gasps> oh, we got a spin as well. And I haven't spent any bucks, any bucks at all. Also, people who hack will deliberately not show you their resources. If they're clever, they'll, they'll cheat, get loads of bucks in, and then just waste them. Um, now... The only way to, to tell if somebody's really cheating, because resources people can just waste on other things, like books they can just spend on like incubators. Um, the, the way to tell if somebody's cheating is to look at their common DNA. Like if they ever scroll down all their team, look at their, um, like look at dinosaurs that they wouldn't level up. Look at Triceratops Gen 2. Because when they're opening loads of incubators, they're gonna get a crud ton of common DNA. So, and nobody catches Triceratops Gen 2. Nobody. So if they've got a bunch of Triceratops Gen 2 DNA, like maybe a million or something, that is one way to quite clearly tell that they've just got loads of uh, bucks and just opened and, you know, leveled up. Uh, and also, also like, look at what dinosaurs they leveled up as well. If there's no particular reason to level up the dinosaur, they've just done that to, like, scale up their level. Because I've been level 13 for a while now, but I haven't spent much coin. Um, just because I, I, I like to save for videos. Look at that! We have done it again! I have to delete something in a second. Hold on. 28 minutes! Oh my god, I've got le almost less than an hour to go out and get another, like, two more monolophosaurus. sources. I could get, like, Kool-Aid. It doesn't have a hybrid yet. It will eventually. That's what I've said. Um, someone messaged me saying that, um, why does Conotaurus not have a, 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 um, a hybrid? And... I think, I think most dinosaurs will get a hybrid, it's just a matter of like, Ludia pulling them out. Finally, yes, irritated. And Baronax? Baronax is fine, I need that to level 15 anyway. <gasps> oh, let's spin again. Wait, did I not just, oh, 10 bucks, nice. Uh, okay guys, two seconds, just going to stop the recording. Yes, hello. Hello! Yes, we're, we're recording from back in the studio, over the top of the last battle. Yes, yeah, sorry, I didn't, maybe I didn't make it clear enough. The camera was running out of battery, and um, if for some reason I couldn't delete anything off the SD card, so I was like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> so I just like decided to call it quits, and I was like, oh, well, at least I'll record it, and we can come back and sort of, I can do a commentary over the top of it. But, uh, yeah, how, how you doing? I, I forgot everything I was saying. Did I do the thumbnail with all the Indo head? The Indo after head? I think I did, yeah. <laughs> so I just scared the life out of Whitney. Because, um, like, like you saw Basil in that video, I took him from, you know, home, like, from our house to my parents, and on the way I recorded this video. But I also forgot to close the back door, <laughs> so, like, and it's been raining. So Whitney came and she was like, did, did, did you, have you been home at any point? Because I'm pretty sure I didn't leave the window open. <laughs> Look, there you go. It, I'm a legit player. It, low battery. That's how you show that you don't use cheats. That's me. Yes. So also, I've been trying to like play the battles on uh, like the normal tournament thing, the PvP battles. I can't get over 3,700 cups uh, with with the dinosaurs I have. So I'm really hoping that Ludia and look, the Interruptor finally died. But we have Velociraptor, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. Uh, I I can't get over it, and I I also can't get over that there's just so many cheaters. Um, I, that are allowed in the leaderboard, so I really do that Ludia, I really do hope that Ludia, uh, address this. I know we had, like, two other battles, but they were basically the same, the same dinosaurs over and over, a little bit stronger. So here's the reward, do you think we'll get a Baryonyx? <laughs> I can't remember. So, ooh, Gen 2, very good, Nunda Sutures, yes. In, finally, Irritator, so we can start working on that Pyroraptor, um, hybrid, or getting that up to getting the unique one for that. 44 Gorgon Sutures and 261 Baronyx. I think it has a hybrid. And that was me. We did it. And I think now there's like two other incubators. There's another rare and a, a, a smaller one. Uh, and that's me like, oh, and I did go off and get two Monolophosaurus and got up to 1,500 DNA. So there you go. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like until next time. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh,